welcome to my channel. My name is Pia, if you don't already know me, and if you do already know me, then welcome back. something incredibly exciting. If you follow our vlogs, you know that a couple of days ago we just got back from LA and look what was waiting at home for me. Da, 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 da. Now you know it's never a bad day when a Dior bag's at home. <laughs> now what is in this little parcel is even more exciting. And that is the new Dior Backstage Makeup Collection. Now, it has been a minute since I've done a tutorial or a get ready with me, so I was really in the mood to sit down today and do an entire face just using the Dior Backstage Collection. So the Dior Backstage Collection is designed by Peter Phillips, who's the creative director of Dior Makeup. And the whole ethos behind it is that they wanna bring the professional makeup artist toolkit to us to us people who are not professionally trained at putting on makeup, but in a really, really easy to use way. So what I mean by that is, it's all been compacted into literally this is your full face. <laughs> and all of these palettes are really easy to use. Basically, this is your lip palette. You have so many different colors there and you have a full collection of glosses, satins, and matte lipsticks. Similarly, with the eyebrow palette, you have the eyebrow colors and then you also have the setting wax all in the same palette. So on the back there, you've got written what they do and how to use them. And you've got basically everything you need for that particular look within the one palette. So this is pretty much a dream collection for me because I travel so much. I often forget like the little bits and bobs like the primers or the setting waxes and things like that. But this collection here, if you bring that, you know that you can achieve a whole variety of different makeup looks just with what you've got on you there. This was my first ever attempt at using any of the products. And normally that's quite scary because you don't know how products are gonna wear, you don't know how pigmented or how dark or how light. So sometimes using products for the first time is a little bit daunting, but I've got to be honest, this was an absolute dream and really, really easy and intuitive to use. If you like this look and you want to check out how I did it, just carry on watching. Also, if you don't already, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I've got the link in the description down below. I do a whole bunch of little mini makeup tips and also lots of makeup giveaways. So if that sounds like your jam, go follow. <laughs> So I'm going to get started and jump straight into my base. Now I'm super excited to try this product because this is a bit of a hero of the entire collection. Now this is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. I love that it's applicable to the body as well because I always tend to bring my foundation down to my neck and decolletage just to make sure that you don't have any discrepancy in you know tone or color between your face and your body. Now they do call this runway proof and that is because it is waterproof and also heat and humidity resistant. Now that's super interesting to me because a lot of the time when Kane and I are shooting outdoors we're in like direct sunlight and sometimes in 30 degree heat and I find myself looking really shiny and I'm really interested to see how this wears if it kind of avoids that effect. Now that's obviously incredibly important if you are walking the runway because I've been backstage at runway shows and it is chaos <laughs> like the models are running around like crazy they have to like get back get changed quick touch up and then get back on the runway and i'm sure on stage the lights are like really hot and beaming down on you so this is apparently the solution to any shiny issues <laughs> now the amazing thing with this collection of foundations is that there are 40 different shades so basically you've got your different intensities but then you've also got six different skin undertones so for me I'm definitely a olive green type of person and then obviously there are some people that are a little bit more you know rosy like this one for instance is a bit more of a rose kind of color so uh, I think my closest match is the 3N and that's what I'm gonna try so I love that this is a squeezy bottle because you can just sort of choose exactly how much you need and I'm going to go pretty light with it. So this is actually a sheer foundation that has quite light coverage, but it's very buildable. So I'm just going to kick off doing 
little circular motions of it. Wow, it does actually have a fair bit of coverage. Oh, look how nice and silky that looks. Let's see how it goes with this. <laughs> Couldn't resist but try and squeeze that blemish and I told myself, don't do it, Pia. Now I'm sitting here and all I can see is that. Bye. Wow, I am really enjoying how that is gliding on. It's like it glides on really smooth and silky, like buttery effect. And while I'm sitting here wearing it, I can just see it's kind of like drying and almost mattifying. So it's not so shiny. It feels really nice. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing in foundation, but I think it's got really good coverage. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to move on to is the brows because I can't handle looking at myself without brows penciled in. Now, what do you have done is created these brow palettes and these are super handy because in the one palette you've got a lighter shade a darker shade and then also a setting wax and I love that because I'm all about not having all these like separate products that you can't find or you have to remember to pack if you're traveling but having it all in one place so this for me is just such a genius idea I love the fact that there are two tones there as well because what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the setting wax especially in the areas where my brows are really sparse just so that the powder actually sticks to those particular areas really well and then what I'm going to do is towards the inners of my brows I'm going to go with the lighter shade and then towards the outer part of my brows I'm going to switch to the darker shade that's just going to create a little bit more dimension and it's also going to make my brows look more natural rather than these two like caterpillars <laughs> I almost don't want to ruin it because they've got these beautiful like Dior prints on the product but oh, here we go smooshing it all up <laughs> right so just starting with the setting wax this is a really good tip because you can kind of use the setting wax to I guess sculpt the brows to begin with because you can kind of move see how your hairs then like go in that direction so now I've just got the setting wax on the brows and I'm going to switch to beginning with that lighter shade. It's always a good idea to start with the lighter shade because you can always build to the darker rather than going straight in with that dark one and then making a huge mistake. And powder brow palettes are so much easier to use. They're so forgiving and you can just kind of get the powder in general direction of where you want to go and then just use the spoolie to sort of soften it out and make it look like little hairs and my rule with applying it is to kind of just flick the brush in the direction where the hairs are here for instance my hairs face up so I'm gonna flick all the little movements upwards and then over here my hairs obviously flick sideways so same thing and I do want it to be a bit more of a natural look. I don't need insanely fierce eyebrows today. <laughs> How are we looking? Now that was really easy to get that effect and I didn't have to carry around two different colors plus a gel, literally just that. So really, really thrilled with that product. And now I feel comfortable looking at my reflection. <laughs> for some reason, brows just make so much of a difference for me. Next up, I'm going to go in with my eyes. Now, I have two choices here. Firstly, I have this eye palette here, which is um, the Warm Neutrals. Now, this is very much along the lines of what I tend to do on a day-to-day -day basis. You've got some really nice kind of ivory warm skin tone colors there in this one palette here this is your primer so you can see there's like a little cream in the corner there so you've got your primer on you then you've got like a gold shimmer highlighter and a contouring color and then here you've got three shimmery colors so three metallics and then here three matte colors so in this one tiny little thing you've really got so many options and pretty much everything that you need to create so many different unique looks now I've got a similar thing here with just a different color palette this is the cool neutrals and I'm loving these kind of pink and burgundy shades I actually saw that Bella Hadid in the ad had I think her eyes must have been done with this palette here because it was very like 
pinky and beautiful and I'm going to try and do something like that. It's a little bit different to what I normally do with my eyes but I just can't stop looking at that colour. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Now the cool thing about these palettes as well is that on the back you've got a full explanation of what everything is and what everything does. So here you can see it says primer, here you can see silver highlighter, sculpting powder, shimmer shimmer shimmer, matte matte matte. So there's no like guessing around with this. It's really self explanatory and really easy for people who aren't professional makeup artists to do a pro kind of look. So I'm gonna start off by priming because it's a crime not to prime. <laughs> so sometimes instead of primer I use a concealer or something like that but this one is actually correcting so it does cover all those little veins that I have on top of my eyes. It also means that the shadows that I'm going to apply are going to be more vibrant. Okay, and now I want to start with this beautiful color here. This is the matte pink, and I'm going to pick that up and put that all over my lid. It's just a really nice, really soft pink that's going to provide that beautiful highlighted look. And I'm going to take this right towards my inners and even below a little bit. Let's just lift and brighten this whole eye. Oh, I don't usually do pink eyes, but I am already digging it. As with most of this collection, the colors are really natural, but when you build them, they can be really quite strong and striking. So I'm going a bit nuts here because I really do love this color. I'm then going to go in with this transition shade here. This is just to sculpt out the uh, creases a little bit. So I'm just going to get like a little bit of a softer brush and just, whoa, that's darker than I expected. All right, we're rolling with it. Now I like to fan the transition shade out past my brow bone there. It just kind of elongates my eye a little bit, makes it look a bit more sultry rather than doing these like cartoony sort of <laughs> round eyes. I like it to look a little bit cat eye, not just with eyeliner, but with everything through to shadow and even my brows I've elongated. Now I'm gonna to switch to this palette real quick because I wanna pop a color here on my brow bone just to sculpt out those eyebrows a bit better. And I think this is a really great color for that. So I'm just going to, yeah, it's like an eggshell. It's not too light but it just makes it nice and matte and clean looking. For this, I always use a matte shade. I do not like it when people put shimmers under there. I think it's really aging for some reason. <laughs> I'm gonna take that same light pink and actually bring it under my eyes. Okay, and now I'm gonna get a little bit funky and get this. This is actually a face palette. It's the Glow Face Palette, so it's got all of these incredible shimmery colors there and I actually want to pick up a little bit of this blush pink shimmer and I'm going to intensify the pink that's on my eyes so I'm just going to use my finger that's what it looks like Woo! and dab that into the middle of that pink lid just keep layering that onto the middle and it gives this like wet eye look and if you just put it in the middle not on the outside Makes your eyes look a lot bigger because it really draws, makes it look like a bit more 3D. Okay, and now to define my eyes, I'm going to use this deep color here. This is the Shimmer Purple. I'm going to use that as my eyeliner. Now, I very frequently use eyeshadow as eyeliner. I think it looks more natural. It's way quicker and easier to do. And uh, so for me, this palette is pretty much an all-rounder for eyes. I'm tapping that same color onto the outer part of my lower lash line. And now to connect that liner color there with the transition shade, I am going to pick it up and just kind of darken the entire outer triangle of my eye. Now I'm going back to my warm palette here and I'm just going to pick up this color because I think this is going to be really nice if I kind of fan it out from my under eyes because it is like a little bit of a matte highlighter so it's going to cover up my little dark circles on my eyes now picking up a little bit of this bronzy shade i'm just going to tap it in between the pink and the cool 
color towards the outside. So you can see I've got like three different tones going there. And I just want to brighten up that pink again a little bit. But I do think I need a little bit of warmth. Given that I'm an olive skinned person, a lot of the time warm colors tend to suit my face better than cool shades. But I'm so obsessed with this pink color, I just had to do it. And just to marry my lower lids with my upper lids, I'm going to take that warm shade there and actually just tap it a little bit on the transitioning brow bone. So the great thing that Dior have done in this range is created a full powder contour palette. So these top two shades here are the highlight colors and these lower two shades are the deep contours. Now, just looking at it, and given how pigmented everything is, I think I'm gonna start slow and dive in with this one here. It's quite an interesting color because it doesn't look too warm. So I'm not going to look super orange, but I think it's gonna be perfect for sculpting out cheekbones and just kind of giving my face a little bit of a third dimension. I'm gonna do a little bit around the forehead, that same color. I always tend to sort of flick it into my hairline so that I don't have that sudden white scalp. <laughs> I really like this color. I um, I really often find that contour powders can be a bit like bronzer, so I end up looking a bit too orange, but this, it just looks like I have like nice cheekbones without being so obvious about what I've done. <laughs> right, I think I'm gonna go with this color here. This one is like a really nice golden highlight color. And I'm just gonna kind of really gently brush this in between my contour and my cheekbone and then this is where it gets fun so i am now going to add some nice shimmery tones to this look i really want to make this glowy and fresh faced looking so this palette here i've been so excited to use it all day i'm just going to swatch these for you okay so you can see here these are super pigmented they're like full on mermaid magic so i'm loving this pink color here i think i'm going to use it on my cheeks as like a little bit of a highlighted blush kind of tone and then I will probably apply a little bit of this gold one here I think this one might be a smidge too light for me but this one here is gonna be a really nice highlighter Ooh, look at that so it's got like a really nice rose tone to it but also if I move has like a highlighted vibe actually what I'm gonna do is go and mix the two top colors because that's just easier to do with this brush. And I'm gonna actually take a cotton bud and just get a little bit of this really white highlighter here and do a dot on my nose like that. And then I just tap that in. And then same thing, I'm gonna do a dot just here. And this one with my finger, I'm gonna go boop, 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 like that. I'm also then just with my hands going to get a little bit of this pink highlighter and just brush it across the top of my lips there. Kind of where my cupid's bow is. Lips. Now this might be my favorite palette of the whole range. I mean, the value that you get in this is just insane because you've got nine different colors. They range from like really beautiful neutral nudes to like super deep burgundies and everything in between. So you can really like take this from day to night. It can, if you're traveling somewhere, this can literally be your entire lipstick wardrobe you'll have a lipstick ready for every occasion if you look at the back of it the top three are glosses the middle three are satin the lower three are matte lipsticks so you've really got a lot of variety there to play with so given what I've done on the eyes I think I'm gonna keep the lips fairly neutral and go kind of fresh and feminine so I'm gonna play around with them a little bit here I think I'm going to pick up this satin neutral color here and let's see how that goes. Oh yeah, that's a lovely color. The great thing is with this palette, you can kind of mix and match them to get the effect that you're after. So I love that. I think what I'm gonna do is then just with my hands, get this color here, which is the glossy one, and just kind of mix that in. And then to tie the whole look together, I'm going to go back in for this pink shimmer and just tap it into the center of my lips. 
So I think that lip combo is uh, nice and natural. It doesn't look too overdone, but it does have that sort of pink undertone to it to sort of tie in the eyes, the cheeks, and then the lips. So I've got this little rose glowy vibe going on. Now all I need to do is a slick of mascara and I'm done. And voila, so that is my final look for today. Now I know this is a lot more feminine than what I normally go for. I don't often use pinks so heavily. I'm normally more of a bronze, brown, really like a warm neutral kind of girl. But I was so excited to use this palette here because I saw this pink purple eye on Bella Hadid and I just had to try it out and see how it looks on me. And um, honestly, I'm loving it. I really enjoyed using these products a lot because they're just so self-explanatory and so easy to use. I mean, Everything here has like a really great description of what to do and what it is, and they're just incredibly intuitive. I can't wait to do an entire look with this more warm tone palette, and I'll make sure I let you guys know how that goes as well, because this is probably more what I would wear on a day-to-day -day basis. But all in all, I'm incredibly impressed with the entire collection. I think the ethos behind the collection is brilliant. What you want is a professional look, but something that we all can apply and something that's easy for us all to use. And you know, you don't have to be a professionally trained makeup artist in order to achieve these looks. I'm also so thrilled that you can get these Dior products at a more affordable price point. So I hope you enjoyed this look. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you did like it, please leave a thumbs up. I would highly appreciate that. And if you want to see more of these types of videos or vlogs or challenges or any of the goofy stuff that we do make sure that you're subscribed and uh for now i will love and leave you and i'll see you next time bye